Hey guys, this is Steve Adams at Heritage Harley-Davidson in Lyle, Illinois. Uh, here's another informational video. I want to show everybody how to uh, sync your phone up to your bike on uh, 2019 models and then also what you need to activate Apple CarPlay functionality on your motorcycle with the GTS infotainment system. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need uh, is a smartphone. Um, then also too for Apple CarPlay, you need an iPhone. There is no Android CarPlay available for the, uh, the infotainment system yet, only because Apple is uh, a single company where Android is compatible for Samsung, LG, Motorola, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so first thing you wanna do when you go to sync your bike uh, to your phone is you wanna make sure that your Bluetooth is on and is discoverable, okay? So then from there, what you're gonna to wanna to do is with your ignition switch, you're gonna to wanna to turn the bike to the accessory position. So two clicks to the right, and we're gonna let the head unit power up here. We'll give it a second. This is a much faster processor in this head unit than on the 2018 6.5 infotainment system. So then from here, we're gonna to go to the home screen we're gonna to go to the phone button and it's gonna say no device connected. Would you like to connect a device? Hit yes. And then from here, looks like we're gonna add a new device. And it's gonna search. Then it'll either show up on your phone and show up on the bike. Perfect, so then it's gonna send, does a pin match? It's gonna show you the same pin on your phone. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit pair on your phone, hit yes on the bike, and then it'll tell you pairing of iPhone is successful. Um, as far as setting an emergency number goes, if you are gonna be using um, a headset or the wireless headset or uh, the WIM module, um, you can set an emergency number to make quick phone calls in case of an emergency. But for today, we're gonna to go ahead and say no. And then when you have an iPhone paired to this, it'll give you prompts for using Siri uh, when you're on the bike. Go through all those prompts. Okay, so now that is syncing your phone up to the bike. So if you wanted to listen to music on whatever streaming service that you have, Pandora, if you have music downloaded straight to your phone, uh, if you're gonna be using the streaming services, you wanna play that on your phone before you take off on the bike because you cannot go in and activate anything other than skipping songs or uh, replaying songs while you're operating your motorcycle. So now from here, uh, we've got our iPhone, we, we're synced to the bike. Uh, two other components that we have here, I wanna show you real quick, your charging cord that comes with your iPhone. Uh, it also acts as a data cord as well too. So to, in order for Apple CarPlay to come up uh, on the infotainment system, you're gonna need to have this plugged in. So over here in your USB port, you're gonna wanna plug this in there's a few steps involved to get Apple CarPlay to work. So we're gonna to wanna to plug this into your phone. All right, so we have that plugged in. And now in order for Apple CarPlay to work, you need to have either a wired headset. This one comes with uh, most touring models. CVOs come with the Bluetooth headset. So for today, we're gonna to use this. This has to be plugged into the bike. Okay, so then we're gonna plug this in here. And as soon as you have both of those plugged in, you notice the screen automatically goes to Apple CarPlay. So then from here, uh, one thing I wanna point out to a lot of people as well too, I had uh, a couple customers already asked me, they're gonna be going to Sturgis. Uh, they wanna be able to have a weather radar pulling up on the screen. Um, to my knowledge, there is no apps available where you can get a live radar pulling up on the screen of the bike. Um, when, if you have an iPhone, when you go onto the App Store, uh, you want to search Apple CarPlay compatible apps that will show up here on the screen. And then from there, that's where you can make your phone calls. Um, the Harley Davidson app, you need to download that onto your phone as well too. I'll have another informational video about the Harley Davidson app and the features and benefits of that as well. Um, podcasts, audiobooks, all of your text messages, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, pretty simple. Just keep in mind a lot of people think they just need to have a wired headset. You need to have the uh, phone plugged in with the phone's cord. Um, and then make sure Apple CarPlay is also turned on in your phone as well too. So if you guys have any further questions, 
uh, feel free to stop down at Heritage Harley-Davidson in Lyle, Illinois. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Take care. Have a good day.